Hi, boys and girls. Today, I want to share a nonfiction story with you about dinosaurs and fossils. Hmm, I want you to stop and think for a second. What do you know about dinosaurs and fossils? Do you know anything about them? Hmm, well, I wonder if we're going to find out even more as we read this story. This book is by Matthew Hugo. He is the author. And this book is going to tell us all about different dinosaurs and maybe what fossils are. You might say, what are fossils? Well, we're going to find out. There is our table of contents. Remember, the table of contents tells us where certain, certain things are in our book. Okay, it gives us the name and then the page that it lands on. And the author did a great job. They gave us a title at the top, Dinosaurs. Dinosaurs were animals that lived on Earth long, long ago. Some dinosaurs were very small. They were no bigger than a chicken. Some dinosaurs were very large. They were even bigger than an elephant. Friends, you know what I just noticed? That on here they did a comparison on both pages. Just like you were doing with your writing and comparing things. This said that some were no bigger than a chicken and that some were even bigger than an elephant. So they used different animals to compare how big and how small the dinosaurs were. Ooh, this one says terrible lizards. The word dinosaur means terrible lizard. Ooh, that's a new that's some new information. Dinosaurs were reptiles. Ooh, that word's been bold. That must be an important word. Baby dinosaurs hatched from eggs just like snakes and alligators and lizards. Reptiles and hatch. Do you see how those are both in bold? I wonder if we'll learn more about them as the book goes on. Types of dinosaurs. Some dinosaurs walked on two legs. Some dinosaurs walked on four legs. Some dinosaurs flew in the air and some swam in the water. I'm noticing some repeating words on this page. Stop and think. What repeating words do you see? Or did you hear? Yeah. Dinosaurs that walked on two legs. And this is, look, I'm going to try to pronounce it. Dianacharis and a T-Rex or a Tyrannosaurus Rex. And dinosaurs that walked on four legs, a Triceratops and a Kentrosaurus. Most dinosaurs were plant eaters. Many plant-eating dinosaurs walked on four legs. Most had small heads and small tails. Many had spikes on their back. Ooh, and the author did a great job of labeling this picture for us so we can see where all the different body parts are. This is a picture of a triceratops, and it was a plant-eating dinosaur. Some dinosaurs were meat eaters. Many meat-eating dinosaurs walked on two legs. They had sharp teeth. They had short arms with claws that helped them grab their prey. Ooh, and there are some more labels. Two legs, short arms, sharp teeth. And this is a picture of a Tyrannosaurus rex, who was a meat-eating dinosaur. What happened to the dinosaurs? Hmm. I'm not really sure. I want you to stop and think once. What do you think happened to the dinosaurs? Well, let's read about what some people think. No one knows what happened to the dinosaurs. Some people think the dinosaurs died from a big volcano. Some people think the dinosaurs died when a large rock fell to earth from space. Some people think the dinosaurs died when the weather got too cold. Lots of different ideas. Dinosaur fossils. Ooh, that word was in our title, right? Hmm, I bet you we're going to learn more now. We can learn about dinosaurs by looking at dinosaur fossils. Fossils are part of a plant or animal that have turned to stone after many, many years. Here it says how fossils are formed. A dinosaur dies. Its body is buried in dirt, leaves, and sand. The dinosaur bones turn into stone. The bones break down, leaving a shape where they were. The shape 
This picture can't read it very well. The shape is with, oh, is it minerals, right? And millions of years later, we find the fossils on Earth's surface. So as I'm looking at that, wow, there's a lot of new information on this page. What's something that you learned on this page? Yeah, lots of new information. We find many dinosaur egg fossils today. Dinosaurs covered their eggs with leaves or sand to keep them warm. Some of the eggs never hatched and became buried. Today, they are fossils. Wow, cool. And here's our glossary. Oh, there's those important words that were in bold, right? Hatch, prey, reptile, and spikes. Wow, there is lots of new information in this book. So I want you to hop back onto Seesaw and answer some of the questions that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed it.